Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to create the scenery of the island. It is very simple scenery, but it's given us interesting perspective of how to look on a camera positioning, how distributed materials, uh, put it properly the plants, and you can see through all of this developing we're going to create step by step. Hopefully this has give you a beginning to create your own island. So let's go ahead and start working on this scenery. Okay, so first thing we want to do is take our camera and position slightly above and look down. So this is kind of what we're going to do. Look down on our island. Okay, next I want to create island area. We'll just go ahead and create a normal high field terrain. And I'm going just to take these corners and drag around. Maybe just around this area so I can see all of this island. And again, we maybe reposition a bit more, but this is general positions right now. Okay, let's go work with the terrain. Is your terrain all the way to the ground? And we can select and click on the drop object. Next, we'll right click and going to edit our object. Okay, and edit our object right here's our terrain um, I want to increase the resolution by 1024 so I want a very high resolution because I want to add some details and we'll go use like a peaks example if you click on this and you can see it's creating a very cool shape so for our island we have it nice areas and again if you don't like this you can try several different times see which one will look kind of nicer for you and I'm just showing but all of them it's already kind of look cool so, and you know what maybe I'll look a few more times cycle through all of them that one may look okay let's try one more time till you find one that you like it you can always and try go inside and create a different seed um, for your render so you can on the randomizing okay right there let's go back to preview and we'll look there you go okay so I think this one has looked good and always you can because they're stackable you can go on top reset with mountain and click peaks and it'll create peaks based on this mountain kind of mixed and I think this is look good. We'll go ahead, click OK. And here is our basic island. So I want to create more dramatic look by slightly going up. Okay, next let's go ahead um, preview as a render. Okay, we'll go ahead and just preview final render to screen. Okay, let's go render. And you can see it's a little bit too bright but overall this is shape for our island i want to actually change a couple of things i want to disable of the exposure set no exposure filter so this way i know precisely how its light will look without modification let's take our sun and move well oh, not that much just move a little bit to the side to create those shadows up front so we can see um, a little bit better. Okay, in Atmosphere Editor, you can see we have a very high haze and glowing. Let's just decrease some of that glow effect. Okay, also lighting. You know, we can do, take the options right here and we'll take brightness and take brightness down. So let's go more to the dark area. So we'll just reduce some of that. Okay, and we'll kind of bring this a little bit back up as we're working with our settings. Okay, I think this will be good. Let's click OK. Mostly I would just want to be sure it preview properly. Okay, and let's look overall shape okay for me. Um, I do want to have a small islands around there. And we're going to create 
new terrain. So we'll shrink, but not all the way, so it will be a little bit bigger. Okay, maybe around this area. Bring down. We'll go to edit our object. And for this same, I want increase. Take all of the edges and click on creating our peaks. So you can see we have a very nice kind of peaks here. Okay, now in our, but problem with the peaks, you can see they kind of spread all over, which is okay, except I don't want them that much. So we'll go to edit our filter. And let's see what's happening when we edit our filter. So we'll create a new, new point, and when we take point down, you can see those elements, they start eating out. So this is what we want. I want to take some lower points, make them a little bit down this way. We can pop up just a little bit increase, so they're not too kind of on a peaks. We'll reduce this even more. Now, almost like the coral reefs, it's what we're going to create. Okay, um, we have a little bit right there problem with eating, so we need to bring up to here, probably around. Let's add a little bit smoothness to this. I think right here will work very good. Let's go click OK. Um, we still have problem with the edges. We could try to zero edge, but then when you're increasing, you can see it's kind of creating this reef. I don't know if um, for single island we can do this. We can have a duplicate section problem. Let's do this way as example. So we can do that way. We'll shrink it. Bring right here. Okay, where's our... Okay. So we can have like this small island. Um, this is one option. Another option, of course, go back. Let's go to um, edit object. Remove this one. Edges, so it will go all the way. And in this case, we can shrink down just like this flat. And we can also just put a like big one overlay. So it's up to you. What you want to do, but I think if we just want to create kind of small right here, you know, Alt Option, drag and create one more around this area, and we can open for edit. Click one more time on a peak, so it will change a little bit on our shapes, because we'll need it reset our filter slightly. Click OK, OK again. Kind of just set there and we'll just copy this and rotate and add to the angle. So overall just add this kind of effect of the different islands. OK, let's render. And this is maybe a little bit too tall, so I'm going inside here and just bring down this one. Same will bring down and same as this one. And we'll just have it a little bit almost like coral reefs on some sides. Okay, I think overall shapes is okay right now. So let's go start adding some or work on a texturing in next tutorial.